crafts instead of rules and games, free expression instead of rigid conformity. For those who can afford around £3,000 a year, there's an idyllic setting in Hampshire and a democratic sort of atmosphere. Princess Margaret sent both her children here. Beedales likes music. And to make sure things stay that way, the students have seven full-time music teachers and 23 part-time. But for at least four of the school's more talented players, the classics aren't quite enough. In the style of polite anarchy typical of Beedales, they've helped themselves to a bicycle shed, turned it into a studio and formed a band called Sock Bazaar. Do they have ambitions to go professional and make a career in rock? When I first started off playing in a, in a band, I thought, right, my ambition is to be on top of the box, and that's it, then I'll have failed, right? <laughs> but now I, I don't mind being on top of the box, and I, I'm not going to do it after, I'm, I've gone to, after I get to university, really. I think that's, that's about the end. Then I want to start earning money, the real money. <laughs> do any of you see yourselves going on playing after you get away from school? No. Well, I mean, I'll go on playing. I'd always like to do music as a hobby, but... Um, not, not as a career. No, as oh, I'd like mine as a career, I think. I'd like to um, dance as well as sing, be a musical, and act at the same time. So I would carry on singing. What about you, Graham? Do you ever see yourself going on with <laughs> rock band? No, I, I think I'll probably join the RAF. Yeah, which is why he's lost his quip. Yeah. <laughs> I used to have yeah, yeah, quit quit that, right. <laughs> But I was happened? ill. I was ill and he cut it off yeah. while I was away. <laughs> Tell me so, about what happened to the hair. I had an Good RAF point. interview. And um, I, was, I didn't think it would be quite the right sort of impression to give. The only gigs Sock Bazaar have done are in Beedale School Hall. Their school may be different from many others in the contest, but their attitude is very similar. They don't really see rock music as a profession. It's just an exciting way of saying something about their favourite issues. Lying awake, watching the shake, it's the atomic break. school bands, Sock Bazaar seem obsessed with nuclear war, desolation, and pollution. Why are nice topics like love among the last things they write about? Everybody said everything about love. I tend to write about everyday things, like things we do. I mean, we've got a song called Ground Zero. So it, I mean, it, it sounds pro CND, but actually it's just a reflection of society, I think. It doesn't actually say anything, it's just about... It's just, it's just what we do. I mean, we look Wasn't at it... It's an original the topic to have a song on would you be interested to know that, in fact, it's incredibly unoriginal because <laughs> most of the bands who go in for the rock school contest write about things like the bomb and hardly any of them write about love. It would be really original to write about love. <laughs> I told you. It's part of the well, all day, the main hall at the Polytechnic here has been a scene of great fun and excitement as the eight bands from schools all over the southeast region perform their sets on stage. Each band has had to do three or four numbers, and one of those numbers has had to be an original composition. And the standard of the bands this year has been even better than last. stage a band from Mill Hill School in North London. White Noise with their song written by Lars Smith, who's 17. It's a reggae-based number and it's called Black and White. Andromeda with an R on the end, and they come from Gaines School in Upminster. Four boys again, they're aged 15 and 16, and their number's called Secrets of Eternity. Third 
band on, Utopia, a five-piece band from Long Dean School in Hemel Hempstead in Hertfordshire. Two girls here, and one of them, Jenny Bennett, is on lead vocals, and their original number is Eyes Can Never Lie. Let me wear. Next, it's Sock Bazaar, three boys and a girl from Beedale School near Petersfield in Hampshire. Michelle Oldland is the lady out front. She's 16 and she's singing about the nuclear menace with Ground Zero. Oh, and Jesus never came, although we call his name, it's a government game, a political game. Be our weapon, Ground Zero, be our weapon. boys again with a big local following here with them and they come from the Duke of York's Royal Military School at Dover. They're called Ollie the Squid and they've got a lively original number, The Painters. The painters are coming. Oh. And you didn't turn me down. That's good. And it's love enough for now. First down secondary school at Tooting in South London are here with Insight, another four-piece all-boys band. Their song is written by the lead singer Gerald Groves, and it's one of the contest's few love songs, Love Enough. band on are the amazingly named Snail's Migration from Wingles Cox School at Reading in Berkshire. Some jazz and blues influence here, I think, and the number is Just You. I've been so lonely these days without you. Just keep it thinking of things that you do. So many times that I wanted you near me. Made up my mind that I've got to make you see that you be born. And the last band on are the Elixir from the Trinity School of John Whitgift in Croydon. It's a bigger lineup and lots of instruments from two kinds of keyboards to flute. Their number is Death of an Office Worker. of the music from each of the eight bands in the Southeast Regional Final of Rock School 82.